guys, Dan Kasky, Rescue Man Barbecue here in Somerville, South Carolina. A uh, beautiful summer afternoon and we're getting ready to uh, fire up our Primo ceramic grill. One of the reasons that I uh, don't always go to it uh, instead of a pellet grill or something else is because uh, it's hard to clean up the charcoal. Well, I've recently been introduced into a revolutionary product. They say it's going to change my grilling forever. It's called the Kick Ash Basket. And so we're, before I knew they were available for the eggs, but now there's two sections. I've got two of these. I picked mine up at Coastal Covered. I was talking with Brad and Bob, and uh, they're telling me about the changes we're going to make. So we're going to get our firebox cleaned out and uh, put these in and, and see what it does, and we're going to throw some pizzas on tonight. Okay, so this is uh, after our last cook. We, we've taken all the stuff out. You can see how the charcoal is all up around in here, uh, and it probably impeded the airflow. So we're going to give it a stir and unclog this plate. I can definitely see this is normally what I do to start my next cook. I would go ahead and once I've got this down, I would fill it up with uh, more charcoal. And if I was going to do half, I could put the plate back in and divide it. But uh, since today we're going to switch this out, I'm going to go ahead and dig this charcoal out. And then we'll show you what the basket looks like and the other parts that are going to come out. Okay, so we have the Primo set up. Normally we would have half half of it set up. One of the advantages, you can do half of it. And so the stainless steel grate comes out. Set that aside. I'm gonna take that, the uh, air grate out. Now, in the bottom here, um, we have a ceramic plate that, that kind of gives that extra thickness. That, that's gonna stay in there. We're going to leave that right in, and then in goes our kick-ash baskets. They're going to sit right on there like that. All right, let me get some lump charcoal in here. We're going to fire the whole thing up because, again, we're doing pizzas tonight. All right, so I've got my uh, kick-ash baskets in the Primo filled up. Of course, you're in home of the gadgets, so uh, we're going to get this fire started. I've got a Bison Air Lighter, which I just got for Father's Day. Really excited about that. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, and get this fire started. All right, so our Bison Quick Lighter uh, made quick work of, uh, of this. Um, it it had, does have a flashlight, which we don't need today, and a, and a beer opener, which... We might take advantage of it here a little bit, but once this other one uh, kind of comes up, I'm going to go ahead and uh, close the lid and let's get this thing up to temperature. All right, so it's been about four minutes. We're about north of 350 now, so we're well on the way. Um, we're going to go ahead and set up for our pizza cook on our Primo XL. And so if you had another uh, type of grill, you'd set your, your diverter, display setter, or other name device up. Oh. Right, we're gonna go ahead and install our grates and then we'll let this thing keep coming up the tip. Alright, so as we get everything set up, I'm just gonna show you. We're gonna this is our Rock Croc series from Pampered Chef. We're gonna use that as our pizza stone. Uh, it's, it's meant for the grilling. And then we're gonna set up this extra tray to get a little taller. And uh, we're gonna use our second pizza stone up high. So we're gonna, we're gonna be able to put two on there at once. And we're gonna try this dual zone cook and see which one we like better. All right, so uh, the grill's reading north of, uh, of about 600. We're gonna open it up always at high temperatures. You gotta kind of burp your grill a little bit. So, we still may even get a flare. Not too bad. All right, so we got this one setting. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and we've got our cauliflower pizza. My wife did a great video on that. We're gonna get this on there on the rock crock. We're gonna give it five minutes. Let's take a sneak peek and see what's happening. Oh, that's hot.
right wall door. Had a great cook last night using these kick-ass baskets on the Primo XL. And uh, now the cleanup process, so if I wanted to prep again, I would just take and what's left back in pretty simple all right so it'll be pretty simple cleaning out very little ash down in the bottom and so you can see how the airflow is, is going to be great so I'm really looking forward to these kick ash baskets and, and how they work well in my primo again this is the oval but you can see in an egg uh, you just need one basket and that would certainly accomplish it so kudos to the cook kick ash basket hope you give it a try pick yours up here locally at the uh, coastal cover and uh, we'll check us out for more videos.